Hello and welcome back on our newly schedule. And uh, wow, let me stop that. There we go. Had some uh, feedback there. Um, on our newly scheduled day of D and D. With me, as always, is my lovely cast, which I will go by and uh, introduce you to. Even though, hopefully, you have uh, know us by now. Hopefully. Let's start with the person in the number one spot who is moving his camera. Jane Demand. Hey there, I'm Jane Demand. Uh, some of you might know me as Blue Mage Artist. Uh, that is my handle on Twitter and Instagram because I do artwork. Um, <clears throat> I play Sazen Sahana, the Boyd singing gnome, um, who right now is uh, ready to be the lone survivor of this encounter. I hope, I hope Suzanne survives, but we'll see. Next, we're going to have Damien the DM. I am playing uh, Alexin Urikara, uh, a dragonborn that used to be a ranger, but is now a druid lock and has gone from being like everything beautiful and sweet about nature to everything harsh. So... What's some physical changes too? How how much with the fingers, by the way? They're just slightly elongated. Ten feet long. <laughs> oh God! Uh, uh, enough <laughs> that enough that certain people might look at you and be like, hmm, um, but not so much that it's your defining feature. If you've ever seen Full Metal Alchemist and you've seen Lust. You've seen Alton. (laughs) (laughs) Next, we have our wizard cat dragon lock. Hi, I'm Josh. I play wizard cat dragon. Uh, I play Miyagi, the draconic lineage sorcerer, divination wizard, who just triple classed into the great old one warlock. So, woo! And he's trying to get rid of him. Yep. Trying to. And last but not least, we have our newest addition, who has been with us for a couple sessions now at least, Gavri. Oh, oh, hello. I I am Rin. I play Gavri. He's a little fawn who loves making friends and going on adventures into strange places. He's having a great time, loves everything that's happening, uh, and knows nothing but regret. What is happening? And I can guarantee you that there will be plenty of regret to come. Oh boy, his favorite. <laughs> Damien, is everything okay? Okay. So when we last left off, our group of adventurers were on a quest to help Miyagi purge himself of whatever tainted evil was left in his bloodline from his ancestor, having learned that he is actually the ancestor of the worm that walks, Kyrus, an elder evil who wishes to bring about the age of worms where everything has been feasted upon by worms. And while they were on this quest, they ran into a former party member, and they all decided to travel together. This... We did not... We did not all decide on that. <laughs> you did in the beginning. After some tensions, after some tensions, um, the other party decided to continue on and disappeared from sight. As Miyagi was speaking, hope maybe to Bahamut through this massive iron golem. The other party decided to show back up. But Mia, the former party member, was clutching a golden dragon egg. And she gave you the realization that the gods are a lie. So let's jump back in. As you all are readying your spells, you you feel conflict about to happen. 
Mia just holds up a hand. Don't you understand? The gods left this world eons ago. They abandoned us to fend for ourselves against whatever evil's coming. We have to get stronger or we will. What the fuck? What if they did? Well, I'm not going to be feasted upon by these elder fucking evils that are coming after us. I'm going to survive. So you could just leave everyone again. So you talk about gods leaving, but you left like it was no problem because you're so called I am gods. sorry that I left a group that I barely knew when I thought I was being told to go by my god. I am sorry. Exist, right? I'm sorry you all have abandonment exist. issues. Okay. And I'm sorry you're a pompous fuck. The halfling speaks up. I'm um, sorry to sorry to interrupt, but it, it it is actually true. My research has shown that obviously we have dragons in this world. We have this egg here. You you and she po he yes, points the to the eggs that you should put back. Well, just. We're trying to wake them up. We are going to need their Why? help. Why? Because there is an evil coming. And who says that they would want to help people like you? Well, I would hope that they would want to help people that need help like they did in the past. Not How do we know that's even true? true? How do we know that you're... You are all goodly folk. All you have done is... Never claim to be. Then I think that we just need to part ways. And we're gonna start by you parting to put back those eggs. Oh, my research will not allow that. I don't give a fuck about your research. I am done being told everyone's research is so goddamn important as people die around them. Mia just looks back. Yo, son, do not even try to explain. Oh, it immediately goes into a rage, like full tense. The fuck did you just say? Listen, you're going to let us pass, or... What name did you just say? I said, yo, son. Well, I guess the oh. dig is up. As he <laughs> takes off a hat. Wild shape. Okay. Oh, the little fuck I, that's missing this. I guess it's initiative time. And <laughs> Mia Mia will say, I guess we're going through you. As you see her dragon scale armor shift, and it looks like her armor is actually made of a demon skull. She brings out a great sword, and it sparks on fire. We are in combat, folks. Let's get some music going. What if we weren't? <laughs> well, <laughs> there, there was just no talking. They tried to talk, and nobody wanted to talk to them. Well, Mia does not have a great the history of the truth. <laughs> I like to think every time Gabri's just talked over and ignored, it's completely like, oh, yeah, that checks out. I don't know why I bothered. <laughs> At the top of the round. Suzanne, what is your current armor class? I still have mage armor up, so it should be 19. 19. Okay, that's a 23 to hit. Uh, reaction shield. Okay. Why are they going after me? I wasn't the one talking shit. <laughs> well, because uh, they're under they're under orders from Mia, and they, Mia knows how destructive you are. Uh, out of reflex, you just bat up your head. You feel like the air shift behind you, and you see this tabaxi behind you. And he is attacking again. That is going to be a 25 to hit. That it's all right. That is going to be an auto crit and 
I need you to... Why is it an auto crit? First round of... First round of combat. Before anybody else is gone, assassin figure... Assassin feature from his rogue. I need you to make a these uh, Constitution saving throw. Five. Five. Yep. But we're not surprised. Like this was an anticipated comment. That's what I'm saying. I don't feel like I would have been surprised. I knew we, that they were. Coming. You mentioned the air was tense. <laughs> we knew we were. About yes, to the air was down. tense. Okay, yeah, let me but... let me pull this up. Like, this is well, not a surprise. we didn't know round. where that one was. We were very focused on Mia. Yeah, you had no I idea where like this person this was. I feel like if this situation was reversed, though, and I was sneaking up on them, they would know that I was there. Just throwing that out there. You're saying that who would know that you were there? If I was a, if if I was a sneak assassin... If they feet of me, I would see them anyway, so... <laughs> Oh, where's you would sense attack? them, but you're not the target of the attack. Hold on, I'm pulling it up here. What? I was wondering where Elkson is on the map. Starting at third level, you're your deadliest when you get the drop on your enemies. You have an advantage on attack rolls against a creature that has not taken a turn in the combat yet. In addition, any hit you score against a creature... That is surprised is a critical hit. You are not surprised. So there's that. So it will yeah, not be exactly. an auto crit. So first off, you do take 21 points of poison damage from the poison that he has in his claws. Got it. And then seven points of... Um, I am going to give him sneak attack damage because he had advantage. Uh, seven points of sneak attack. And seven points of piercing. And then he is going to back away. Out of line of sight. And is going to attempt to stealth. And we lost Damien. You do not. He is has the mobile feet. Gavri, it is your turn. Wow. Okay. Uh, I'm going to look to my comrades, see this crazy knife flash out of the dark, and be like, can you... I need some help keeping that one down. And he'll, like, point to Yosan, who is not drop disguise, but it's clearly, like, the gig is up, I assume. Uh, he has actually dropped his disguise, and I'm oh, going okay. to I'm going to fix that right now. Just so there's no. There we go. Just so there's no actual um, fog of war there. You can see him now. Gavri, it is your turn. Yeah, um, dang, okay. Uh, Alex one's all the way down there. I gotta, I gotta try a thing. I'm gonna run up. Get get up in in this business. Uh, heck. Just to get by, um, I'm gonna take a swipe at Mia on my way by with my with my war hammer. All right. Because uh, I need to reposition a bit. So that is not the actions page. Uh, okay. Um, what's the lighting in here, by the way? Like, 
It is bright light. <laughs> bright light? Okay. Well, Sorry. <laughs> I mean, there are parts of dim light because there are light sources, so you might be able to get into dim light. Um, nice that twenty there. Thank you. I think it's maybe <laughs> the only one he's rolled. So, uh, so like behind. Oh, it's paused. My guy, unpause me. I must uh, be free to run my deer leggies. <laughs> <laughs> so runs up and just like there's there's just blur wow. as he's just like. First boop. Alrighty, 17, or a total of. Should be a lot, actually. Right, help. <laughs> I don't. I got it. Okay. It should just be. Yeah, 17? Is that. No, you. Yes, 17. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fine. Um, and that's not actually what I needed needed to do here. Um, I am gonna keep going. Boat. Let's just get all the way. <laughs> Let's just go. Um, I'm gonna use my second attack. Yep. Um, but... As you go close to him, mm. because of your blind sense, um, it doesn't seem like he's there. Like, I you mean, can I see him. I would have known that before I got even... I would have known that while I was up here. You're focused on Mia right there, and then your focus shut goes over to Yosan as you take one step down I will say if you go one step down um, that's when you're going to notice wait he's there but I don't see like there's dust moving through him is this door open? I'm sorry I just goofed up the my uh, the door is actually shut okay but yeah, you would, yep, right there, you realize, wait a minute, I don't think he's there. Gabri will call out, like, this one here's an illusion, and kind of, like, shove past Mia. I want to see how much move I have left. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Oh gosh, that's the worst one thing this other thing was for. That's so many blocks. I still have, like, 11 boops of movement. Okay. Out here, UI. Uh, goes hunting. Just starts looking. This door is shut too, right? Yep. Checking how many I have left. Oh, oh, that's not. Boop, boop. Anything so far? Nothing so far. Okay. Uh, and I would have covered, like, the entire... I can't really point, can I? Like, all of this would have been within my range. Everything within 10 feet of me. I, I understand. If he was... Okay. Mm -hmm. I'll let them know, like, he's not on this side of the room. He's somewhere else, if he is here. Does that complete your turn? Uh... Yes. Okay, it is Mia's turn. I... No, no, that's good, that's good. Mia will come up to Miyagi. Seeing as Miyagi is the closest. And Miyagi, you see from underneath you, a specter starts to appear. Oh, fuck. Mia will make an attack with her sword. It's going to be an 18. Shield. 
First one misses. Oh, I'm sorry. I have to roll one more attack. Uh, I would have been a 21. Oh, with? The Is first attack would have been a 21. Elven accuracy, three dice. So it's up to you if you use shield or not. No. Okay. All right, so that's 11 points of slashing damage. And then an additional 2d10 of fire. 16 fire. All right, I'm going to do as a reaction then. I'm going to do... Absorb elements? Yeah, absorb elements. So you get eight hit points back. And she's going to go after you again. Her second attack. That is a 24 to hit. I'm going to, as a reaction, cast Silvery Barbs. So she rolls with disadvantage. All right. That is why I need to roll one more time because both of 24 was the lowest one. But then there's the one there. So, yes, that's a miss. And that completes their turn. It is the Spectre's turn. Who is attacking Miyagi? Uh, that is a 19 to hit. Yep. That is... I need you to make a constitution saving throw. Yep. You take 10 points of necrotic damage. However, you do not lose 10 points of um, your hit point maximum because you passed your save. Woo. So, Zen, it is your turn. Okay. And I can't see the cat thing that attacked me, right? The cat is stealth right now. What is your passive perception? Not enough. Okay. 12. No, nope, okay. you can take an action to try to roll it, or you can use your passive, but that would be an action. Okay. Um, I am going to move and attack Mia. Okay. All right. Let's see. You have how much of a movement? I should have... Uh, hold on. Oh, wait, bonus action blade song. Um, I think it moves up to 35. If you at 30 feet and you can be flanking. Okay. So I'll do that. Give me just a sec. Mm hmm. I'm going to use the, um,. The advantage on silvery barbs, I'm going to give it to Miyagi. Okay. So you're next. So Miyagi, um, no, I'm sorry. Ch change that. I'm going to give it to Elkson. Uh, so Elkson, your next attack is at advantage. Um, and then let's fight Mia. Uh, 20 to hit. 20 definitely hits. I'm going to use my Cantrip Booming Blade on that. Okay. Um, so 10 plus 5 is 18. You take 5 points of cold damage as the armor of Agatha she had. And actually, I'm sorry, uh, Gavri, you take 5 points of cold damage as well. And then she takes seven thunder damage. Yep. You see, she speaks a word and the mouth on her armor opens up and some of the thunder gets stored in, but she still takes some damage. Mm -hmm. All right. Second attack. That's another 20 to hit. 
20 hits. That is nine slashing. Nine slashing. All right, and then I'll attack with my offhand. Uh, you take the last bit of Agatha's damage, five points. Her armor of Agatha shatters. 26 to hit. 26 hits. Four, four slashing. Damn, she's already hurt. And that's my go. Alrighty, it is now Yosan's turn. You see this image of Yosan disappear. I want to put him where he's actually at. As you see him, Elkson, he takes a deep breath in, and you see a shot of fire come out of his mouth. I need a dexterity saving throw. He just used dragon's breath on you. Fucking hell. I'm not wild shaped yet, so this is going to be my own. Um, that's a 14. 18 points of fire damage. Uh, absorb elements. All right. I will put, add nine to your health. Wow, you're pretty hurt too. So how much was that total damage? Uh, nine? nine you would have. Okay. And Elkson, it is your turn. Wild shape boa constrictor, the giant constrictor, and I'm I'm fucking gunning it for him. I'm constricting him. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Oh There's your <laughs> god, I'm a big boy. <laughs> yep. That is terrifying. I love it. <laughs> All right. Uh, so let's see. Constrict. That's a twenty-one. Uh, let's see. You hit, I and hit. then the, it is grappled. He does get a escape DC, but that's if he takes his action. Okay. How much damage? That is uh, 15 bludgeoning damage. He takes it. Meowgi. And I am just this big old albino snake crushing him. <laughs> With some black veins going through the scales. Meowgi, it is your turn. Alright, so first and foremost, I am going to Misty Step over... Subtle spell Misty Step. You really don't want that subtle spell, can't uh, or that Misty Step countered, huh? No, I don't. <laughs> I can understand why. So right here, yep. since I was the bonus action, I don't do this often. One, two, three, one. I'm going to do Frostbite. Okay. Oh, it didn't. I want the damage. It's actual cantrip. Yeah. Cantrip. Why is it doing that? Frostbite, uh, DC Constitution. Oh, I thought it was a, I thought it was a, that's a hit. Yeah, no, it's a good. saving throw. Um, on a failed save, target takes 1d6. Uh, they save 21. Okay. Yeah. All right. Does that complete your turn? 
Yeah, that completes my turn. Let's see, what is this guy going to do? Okay. This guy's going to attack Gavry. First attack is a 15. Misses. Second That's attack. like Gavry kind of like rears up. Second attack is a 14. Also misses, and he's just like... He's gonna do a legs. flurry of blows. A 22. That'll do it. Nine bludgeoning. And he's going to do a stunning strike. His fourth attack also misses. So go and give me a constitution saving throw. Oh god! <laughs> that is not the button I need. You just save. That is the DC. Ooh. Can I do something retroactively and ask, like at the end of my turn, to ask Ixbit to steal uh, Mia's bag? Does she have a bag of holding like I do? Uh, she is. She does have a backpack. Okay. I can try, boss, if you want. Go for it, buddy. Okay. Now he is. He is right now visible, and I'm gonna put him right by you. You have control over him. Gavry, it is your turn. Oh, this fool didn't even back away. Nope, he he seems to get into a ready stance and he brings his hand up with the bring it. What are you doing, fucking idiot? Um and I could use some, gotta, I could use some venison tonight. What's actually wrong with you? Um Gavri will make this kind of gesture with his hands, I don't think any- Well, no, I think Suzanne and Elkson might have seen this as he cast Silence. Alright, where's the silence gonna be at? Let's get a real good- Hang on, let me get the circle down. Holy shit, this big circle. Yeah, um, but I have to see, cause they're- Okay. <gasps> Yep, that's already yeah, in effect, so... drops the silence right on top of here. Oh, gosh. Uh, right on top of Mia, on top of Butt Lord McGee over there. Mm-hmm. That so interferes with my plan. <laughs> <laughs> um... He will call out, like, that whole side, don't go in there, it's full of silence. I would advise us taking out the little shitter as soon as possible. Um, and I'm gonna take the, uh, whatever patient defense as well as a bonus action. Okay. Uh, and... Just, should I stay here? I think I'm just gonna stay here. Alrighty, you stay there. <laughs> it is Mia's turn. Mia will move here, then move here, just so she can say, I knew it would come down between the two of us. We are the best looking, after all. A <laughs> of respect. <laughs> As the specter also moves. Let's see, 5, 10, 15, 20. <coughs> and you are flanked. No, I'm not using 
Not using armor of Agathus. Eighteen. And that's with triple advantage. Misses. Twenty-six. Uh, reaction shield. Alrighty. The specter then is going to have to roll a natural 20 and does not. Let's see. Bonus action. I need to double check something here. I don't think. Okay. That is their turn to Zen. It's up to you. All right. Well, I had plans, but fifty percent of the shield, the field being silenced, has <laughs> washed them. Um. So let's just say fuck it. I am going to use my one fifth level spot for Bigsby's hand. Bigsby's hand. All right. Which I'll summon behind Mia. There you go. All right. My uh, familiar Avalon, who is always nearby, but is just always so quiet, is going to fly up next to Mia. <laughs> All righty. <laughs> giving me advantage. All right. Um, so they do a flyby attack and does not incur an attack of opportunity. By the way, you have control over your big space hand. Oh, wait. You're not in Foundry. I am not. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and strike with Bigsby's hand. Let's see what spells I can do in silence. That is going That'll to be a 24 not a to hit. Not a whole heckin' lot, fam. That's going to be a what? Uh, 24, but I keep forgetting I have advantage. Let me roll again just to make sure I don't crit. Okay. Uh, 25 to hit, so... I'm that definitely hits. Right. Let's see how this bitch likes getting fisted. <laughs> uh, we're 15 points of force damage. All right. It, she takes 15 points of force damage. As she grimaces, she lashes out and flames shoot out of her hand for a hellish rebuke on you. I need you to do a dexterity saving throw. Come on. That's a seven. 18 fire damage. Mm. I'm still up, but barely. Ah, what's your hit point total? Uh, I have two hit points right now. Oh, wow. Yep. Yeah, Foundry was not updated. <laughs> oh. Yep, I have 65 hit points. Okay. It is now uh, Tyrion's turn. Now, I have to look at this item... Because the item says... I have two hit points, too. I'm going to say he cannot do that. Oh, no, he can get into his, uh, the, his item because it's in his head. No, and he's going to hold his action. And then... His dog gets squished. He disappears. Like I don't even feel him anymore? Nope. Alexon just hisses at, like the snake hiss. And it's your turn, Alexon. I can't see where he went at all. Um, you cannot. Look for him or help Zen. Look for him. Alright. What's the Boa's movement speed? 
Uh, God, I wish I knew if it was Misty Step or not. Um. The, he did not turn into Mist. He did not cast a spell. He just... You were constricting him, and then all of a sudden, your scales were all together. He disappeared. If it's the spell I think it is, I'd be very interested to know when he got a chance to cast that. Um. Oh. Hmm. Okay. I'm on the same page as you now, Gaffer. I'm on the mm -hmm. same I think you guys know the spell, and yes, he did have a chance oh. to cast it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Hence why Mia also had Armor of Agathus up. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm gonna do a heckin' constrict around Mia. Alrighty, roll. She's already used her reaction. Dead. 15 plus 6, 21. 21 hits. She is a heckin' restrained. She goes squish at- Ooh, that's nice damage. Um, and she takes 18 bludgeoning damage. 18 bludgeoning damage, there we go. Squish. Does that complete your turn? Yep. Not a whole lot else I can do at the moment. Miyagi, you are up. Alrighty, so... I'm trying to think. I'm going to... tell... Xbit to... rummage through her... through... Mia's bag. Yep. Uh, oh. And then as an action, as an action, I'm going to do Charm Person on the Tabaxi. Subtle spell, and I'm out of three points. All right, let me double check something here. Hmm. Does not have that immunity yet. Alright, so let's do a saving throw. It's going to be an 18. What's your DC? 15. He passes. Okay. That's not much I can do. Sorry, guys. I suck. You can't spell Miyagi without you suck. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you can look then, for wherever the hell Yosan went. And what am I going to do? I'm at two hit points. You can so, tell us. I don't have blindsight. I'm at two hit points, too. I'm going down. Yeah, so that's, that's my turn. That is your turn. All right, I need to double check something here. Biggest downsides of me being in wild shape is I cannot heal you. Oh, did did Ixbit find anything? Uh, Ixbit is trying to. It's going to take him another turn to actually do it because she's being constricted right now. Okay. So he's having some difficulty, but he's doing it. Okay. At the start of the turn. This guy's just gonna go after Gavry, because Gavry's like right here. You got this, Gavry. It's a 14 to hit? Nah, fam. I am rolling bad. 22 to hit. Is that disadvantage? That is. Yeah, that'll hit. That's 8 bludgeoning. Okay. And I need a constitution saving throw. Oof, that's a seven. 
You are stunned. Until the end of... What is it? The end of uh, your next turn? Or his next turn? It's the end of his next turn. And he is going to start moving down. And it's going to be able to get right up on Miyagi, but does not have any actions yet. Gavri, it is your turn. You are stunned. It is now Mia's turn. And Mia's just gonna... Uh, and is going to attack the snake. At disadvantage. Yeah, I'm moving you just a minute so I can get on Mia's thing. That is a 17 to hit the snake. Yep, hits the snake. Alright, that is going to be not a crit because it did not. Then additional 2d10, so that's going to be another 13 points of damage on top of that. Wow, snakes have a tell lot of health. Total, my dear. Yeah, yeah, so tell me. You're at 36. <laughs> You're at 36 right now. Okay. I'm moving you again, but then out, he, Mia is also going to be dumping some smites. Bring it, bitch. <laughs> Alright, it is going to be. Where is my smite button? Divine Smite. And what spell slots does she have left? She has some second levels. So it's going to be additional 3d8 of damage. For additional 17. Should be at 19 I'm, I'm health. Still, yeah, I'm still a snake. And um, Hellish Rebuke. I'm going to use a charge for Hellish Rebuke. Alrighty. And that was her first attack. And that's a 25. Hit. 11 slashing. She's going to unleash her thunder damage that she's stored. You take an additional 6 points of fire. And then an additional 5 points of thunder. So... Back to Alexon. And how many hit points went to Alexon? Only like two. Um. But yeah, hellish rebuke on this bitch. Go for it. Um. I will do it at my highest available slot because why not? One, two, three, and four. Uh, that is 24 fire damage. And what's your save? Uh, it doesn't matter. She rolled a 10 on her deck save. Dex is not her thing. <laughs> so minus 24. I would have been a 15. Yes. You see, she speaks another word with a reaction, and some of the fire goes into this maw. She doesn't take as much damage as you think. That's fine. She's still taking damage. Yep. And then it's go this specter's going to come up and attack Elkson. Would have been there after popping out a snake for him. Uh, that's only a 13 to hit. Uh, hitting Alex to hit Alexon? That is a miss. Suzanne, it is your turn. Okay. Uh, for a bonus action, um, I'm going to drink my potion of greater healing. All right, go for it. That is a 4d4 plus 4. Don't fuck me, dice. 13. Alright, plus 13. You're sitting at 15 hit points. 
You're ready to go. I am. We're going to bring it with this biatch. Um, right now, I the way that we're currently situated, I don't have advantage, correct? You do not have advantage, no. Oh, look, it's Avalon. Hey, buddy. Fly right by me. <laughs> <laughs> yep, there you go. You have advantage. All right, so we're going to attack again. I'm going to attack with the spark blade this time. All righty. Um... And I'm also going to do my cantrip, because I'm hoping that she can't swallow two uh, spells at once, but we'll find out. Yep. Um, what am I doing? Oh, because I'm in inventory. My apologies. One second. That is a 20 to hit. 20 hits. You guys have been hitting consistently. So I'm going to do the weapon's normal damage, uh, which is going to be nine slashing. I'm going to use the spark blades ability and I'm going to use all three charges. So that is, or all six charges, I should say. Okay. So that's an additional 1d8 plus two lightning damage. And then she has to make a con saving throw. Okay. Uh, Three damage for that. You see the lightning just affects her. It does not go into the armor. All right. And then let's go ahead and add the booming blade effect to that. What's the uh, DC on the con? Oh, she got a 20. Garbage. Yep. She got it. Um, and then she takes an additional four points thunder damage. Okay. I'm really upset that the spark blade failed me so magnificently. Um, She's looking pretty I... hurt already. All right, second attack. It's going to be a 25. 25 hits. For... I'm about to throw D&D Beyond out the window. Like, I have to just go to regular <laughs> dice. How, how, is... how do you think I feel when I keep on rolling low, too? I've been rolling low this entire encounter. Like, I should be a badass warrior, and instead I'm just doing, like, chicken scratches to Mia. Uh, six slashing damage. You have been doing a good bit of damage, adding it all she, up. She should be dead by now. I'm, I'm upset. But that's, uh... We're only in round three. <laughs> <laughs> that's gonna be my go. Alrighty. I want me to remove the health potion, because I did eat that. He's gonna be moving down here. I need to take a look at this spell real quick to see if he comes back at the end of his turn or the beginning. I want to say it's the beginning. Yep, it's the beginning. You see Yosan appear in this back corner. Oh, oh this is very, very disappointing. And he is going to cast a spell. How far is he away from me? Uh, he is within 60 feet. I am going to do counter spell. You are going to need to roll it. Uh, okay, I'm doing it at fourth level. So what do I need to roll? You still need to roll it. Uh, you roll d20 plus your spellcasting modifier. He is also going to attempt to counter your counter. But he does not know about you doing it at fourth level, so he would have done it at third level. So I have to roll it as well. So I rolled an eight. Plus his spellcasting modifier is going to be a four, so that's a twelve. What did you roll? I rolled a, uh, a twelve. His spell goes off. His counter failed, but your counter failed, but it still took up a spot. I'm using my own dice. D&D Beyond, I'm done with you. <laughs> <coughs> I need Elkson to do a intelligence saving throw. As you see, a shimmering lance of psychic power comes out of his forehead and shoots out towards Elkson. Fifteen. That is a fail. 
You take 20 points of psychic damage. I rolled low. I'm down. Uh, you have 21 hit points right now. No, I don't. I I wasn't at full before this. I know. I've been keeping track. However, you are incapacitated mm -hmm. until the start of your next turn, which is the cat, his turn. So you lose this round. What a, what what should I be at then? One. And I need to roll d twenty. I think he stays. Yep, Yosan does not yep. disappear. Elkson definitely screamed out in pain for that. Well, you scream, but there was no sound because you're in the silence. Yeah, but still. Yep. That, that's uh, even more, like, visually representative of her pain right now. <laughs> Elkson, it is your turn. You are incapacitated. Miyagi, it is your turn. You have this other tabaxi coming up to you. Okay. You see Xpit hold up an egg. And he w would be invisible, but he's right next to me and he holds up an egg. Hey boss, look what I got. Can I eat it? Bring it, bring it over here. Um, He and, starts to fly away towards you. Attack of opportunity. So, so here's what I'm going to do. Yeah, there's not much I can do. That's all mm -hmm. right. Mia will take an attack of opportunity on Xpit. That's two, double ones. That's oh. a miss. <laughs> Xpit just like, Woof! and he looks at Mia and he says, fire can't hurt me, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Xpit. So, uh, if him handed me the bag, what sort of or hand me the egg, what would it be? That's his action. Okay, hand me the egg? Yep. Alright, I'm going to stick it in my bag of holding. That, for you to stick it in your bag of holding, that would be using an item that would be an action. Okay. So... Or you could have him fly up, and then maybe do it, put it in your bag for you next turn. Okay. So... Yeah. Just to clarify, if I take the egg and put it in my bag, that's interacting, so that would be my action, right? Correct. I'm going to do that. Okay, that's and your action. You I, do have somebody I, right next to you. Yeah, Misty Step, 30 feet. I'm not subtle spelling that shit. Um, I don't have a counter spell to do, because he already used his reaction to counter his counter spell that wasn't going to counter his. I don't metagame, so... I'm gonna teleport over here. Like, Muhammad, if you're here, we have one of them! <laughs> That's all I can do. I'm gonna mark off the spell slots. There we go. Okay. It is now this monk's turn. <sighs> he looks around. He sees a Zen near death. Why does it always say badly injured? There. Elkson near death. Miyagi near death. And then Gavri just injured. And runs over to Suzen to get in a flanking position. I wasted my reaction trying to help Elkson. Natural 20. Mm -hmm. For a total of 12 damage for the initial hit. Mm -hmm. And the sneak attack damage. Luckily, he's not a full rogue, so he doesn't get much for sneak attack. I don't think it's going to matter. He gets... Come on, Foundry, let's go. Sorry, it's going slow as hell for me. That's okay, we could just assume I'm down. 
Well, how many hit points do you have? Three. Three? Okay, yeah, you're going to be down because he has 3d6. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, all right, you are at zero. Um, the tabaxi takes another hit at you. Still has to hit. Does hit. That's two death saving throws. Gavry, you're up. Shaking off the stun. Are these um are these wall mounted or are they actually on the floor? These torches. On the wall. How high up? I'd say about 10-15 feet. Something that you could easily climb up and grab. How high are the statues? The statues are actually pretty tall. Uh, the main one that you're right next to, which was the one that was speaking, is massive. Um, the other ones are probably about 10 to 15 feet as well. Okay. Okay. Y'all, y'all are so near death. <laughs> uh, so Zen's down. Yeah. yeah. Down. With two death saving throws gone. And Mia coming up. I have plenty of move. I don't need to do anything super wild yet. Uh, I'm ahead over there. You all take the heckin' long way just to get flanking. Like, do a, a run around her. Um, oh god, my poor map. Tablet pens were not meant for this. Alright, so... Okay, now, now clarify something for me. Yeah, yeah. The mobile feat just lets you not take an attack of opportunity if you have attacked somebody. Yeah. Okay, you if just I see that thing. I'm running around it. Okay, but you I'll take like let's go. Yeah, because you just went through his yeah. face. That's definitely an attack of opportunity. Right. Okay, we'll just go the long way. Let's go. Yeah, yeah. that way you don't get one. Yeah. I mean, Grand, the specter is not that. It doesn't. It has like a plus four to hit. It's not. It's really Dude, there to. Everyone is at one hit point. It's like. I'm gonna take my first boop on Mia. Added Twenty-four one. hits. I mean, I want to fish for a crit. No. Why would it be advantage right now? As I'm flanking. No, nope. no, nope. flanking is a straight line. Is you, it? Yep. It is. Uh, it is impossible to get flanking right now. Because okay. his end well, is down. Eighteen damage. I mean, you still hit on the first one, so. How how rough is she? She is pretty rough. Uh, I'm gonna try and stunning strike her. Okay. It's a 19 on the con save. Okay, I'm gonna boop her again. Okay. 21 definitely hits. Twenty-one damage. She's looking really rough. She's coughing up some blood. She's uh, you fools. We could have all the power we ever wanted. You're, you're all so loud. I'm gonna flurry of blows. You see, as you Floria blows, she entombs herself in ice. 
Hasn't yeah. she used her reaction? Take an attack of opportunity against Ixbit? Uh, yeah. She yeah. has done that. Let me just yeah. double check this. Great catch, Rin. Yeah. Thank catch. you. I really You're love right. casters, I'm sorry. I love spells, even though I'm on Gavry, the punchy boy. <laughs> You're right. Roll your damage. That's just nine. Okay. I am going to try and stunning again. Okay. One day that save will be good. One day. <laughs> that is an 18. Yeah, that'll do it. And my final boop... 19 just hits. Still up. I try one more time to, like, stop her. 27. I roll a 19. Uh-huh. Uh, that is... All I can do. Alrighty. That's it, boys. I tried. It is Mia's turn. She looks around. You see, she takes a potion off her belt and downs it. Roll. Please don't tell me she's about to attack Suzanne. That's quite possible, but now that, uh... Now that she lost a lot of hit points, she's now going to survival mode. In actuality, um... Does this dead-eyed fawn is like... The, yeah, the fawn just here. saved Suzanne's life. Because that was her exact go-to. Uh, then she's going to lay on hands. She has to. You see a lot of her... Most of her wounds close up. She's still battered and bruised, and there's cuts, but she has a lot of vitality left. And then the specter will come down and attempt to attack Gavry. That is an 11 to hit. Does not. Yep. Can't hit worth a shit. Sazen. I am rolling your dice. 18. It is now Yosan's turn. Well, this is not... Very... <sighs> I did not anticipate this. <sighs> Looks around. You see he starts to form this black and green energy around his hand as two Eldritch Blasts get shot at. One at Elkson and one at... Gavry. Because there's no point in hitting Sazen because he would have a disadvantage on it. So that is a 15 to hit, Elkson. Hit. You are down, and that is a natural 20 to hit, Gavry. That might hit. That's a total of 11 damage. Oof. Let me put that on. We're still good, gang. Elkson, you have a 14 on your death save. Miyagi, you are up. Okay. Okay. I'm fucking terrified. Terrified. You see Ixpit just go flying off without an order. Oh, I need to roll d20. Okay. 
Your son stays. You hear Xpit yell. You cannot hurt the mistress's pet! As he starts screaming and starts going towards Yosan. <laughs> oh no, I know why he's doing that though. But unfortunately, he doesn't get there in time yeah, to no, do an attack. Okay. What are you doing? Alright. Here's what I'm gonna do. I can't really do damage. Well, yeah. just, just think of it this way. If you live to the break, I've got a fun surprise for everyone. <laughs> Alright. Mm, excuse me. <laughs> I'm gonna try something. Don't, Don't throw up it. from stress of this game now. Come on. Heightened spell using the gauntlet. Charm person. Oh, um, does it? Now I will say, charm person is not dominate person. It's not. It's not. My can I can I run by what I was going what I was thinking about doing? Sure, feel free. As opposed, that way I don't do anything that I regret. Right, I no, going, absolutely. I was going to ask those three that I targeted to leave and leave the egg here with us. Let's see. Um... It has advantage if you're fighting it, so with heightened, it will make it a straight roll. Okay. Oh. They regard you as a friendly acquaintance. Oh. It, okay. It would come down to a roll, but it would be difficult. Yeah. I'm not saying it's impossible, but it number one, it using heightened will cancel out the disadvantage. But you are going against their entire mission. So that persuasion role would be difficult. Oh, fuck. Okay. What if I cast Suggestion instead? Suggestion? Let me pull that up. The suggestion is more powerful. I am not... There it is. Do not consume spell slot. Uh, you suggest a course of activity. The suggestion must be worded in a manner that makes it sound reasonable. Wisdom saving throw. Um, but I think it's only one. I don't think it scales. Yeah, only one. Okay. And it's a wisdom saving throw. You also have at your... I mean, you have chaos bolts. You have... Um, and you have some damage capabilities. Hell, you have Eldritch Blast. I've been choosing not to do that. You could hex an Eldritch Blast. Let my gifts help you. <laughs> Alright, so 
Just what I'm gonna do. Just what I'm gonna do. Ah, oh, fuck. I really can't think of anything. Oh, gotta give me an gotta give me an answer so we can keep moving. Yeah. All right. Fuck it. Third level magic missile on. Fuck it. Shield. On who? Me. Oh, there it is. How much? So four times five is twenty points. See, she gets battered with these missiles and. More blood starts to come out of her mouth. She's fucked up. Does that complete your turn? I'm gonna say, if you want this fucking egg, leave us alone. And I'm going to pull out the egg. Does that complete your turn? Yeah. Saradoc, go skin the cat. First attack is a 10. Misses. I rolled a 2. Second attack is a 16. Shield. What's your AC now? 21. Alright, he's going to do Flurry of Blows. 16. And a 17. For those of you enjoying our spell animated effects, they are done by JB2A animations. They're great. Gavri, it is your turn. This is so unfortunate. Okay. Um, I'm going to try and, and grab her. Okay. Do, do a good old, a grapple, grapple I right, pose, pose athletics. 23. 15. I drag her into the silence with me. We are going for a ride. Alrighty. Think. Here, sure. Take her. Oh no. He said he'd be uh, right back. It's just Discord crash. Oh. Yeet. Hi, everyone. I'm back. Sorry, my Discord crash. Oh, no. Uh, that's my first attack. Second attack, I'm... Um... You can, you can use a, a grapple as one of them. Double check it on that. Yep, you can replace any of them with a grapple shove. Heck yeah, I can. Uh, I'm gonna... I'm gonna start swinging. Uh, so... Advantage now, cause... I got he's I got he's a bad lady. Um... That's just one. Roll my other one. Purple. 21 hit. 21 hits. Jesus. That's 23 on that. Okay. Um. Bonus action. I'm just going to use my unarmed strike. I don't have 
the few key points I have left uh, <laughs> need to be used sparingly. <laughs> we kind of went ham trying to make a thing happen, and I don't have the save DC to make that happen. Does 27 hits. 27. 13 does not. 8. Still up, I but looking hurt. I would kind of want to, like, have, like, my hammer to her neck, like... I'm basically choking her with it and be like, call them off, or I will take You can't you say back. anything, you're in the silence. Oh, you're right, you're right. <laughs> but like, I'm making it obvious, like, just <laughs> digging it in. Well. I need to check he something to see if I can... Down. Hey. Oh boy, that's not good. I'll be back. Let's see. I'm double checking to see if I can do this. Mm -hmm. Okay, double check. That is correct. You see, she smiles at you as a blue shimmering door appears behind her and she slips in and the blue door disappears. Isn't she grappled? She, she has can do. Door, but I'm interested and how that worked. It's because she didn't cast a spell. She has an item that does it. Does it allow you to cast through that item? The item. What's the phrasing on that? If you look at the spell book that's on her, um, it does not require because I'm. I looked at it. Uh, on all the spells book, Dimension Door does not require V, S, or M while it's used through the cape. Can only be used once, though, per dawn. That is that turn. The specter actually disappears as well, it goes into the floor. Sazen. So but it says you use it to cast the dimension door, and casting a spell implies, like, you're speaking that component. It's not casting the spell, though. She can still activate the item, even in the silence. But the phrasing is literally, you can use it to cast. But she's going to be able to do it. Okay. So then, as you're laying down there, you hear a whisper in your ear. You're not done fighting yet. Her art is within you because it's your art. Now get up. I rolled a natural 20 on your death save. You're up at one hit point. What do you do? Oh, I get a turn? I thought... No, it happens like, at the whatever. beginning of your turn, is the wording. You get your action. Okay. Thought, thought I was gonna be dead. Um... I am going to cast Polymorph on the Tabaxi, and I'm going to turn him into a land shark. All right, what's the save on it? It is 17. 17 what? Uh, wisdom. Wisdom. That is a 16. All right, he is a land shark. Land shark that is breathing. Not breathing, actually. Or actually, no, a land shark is... I have to look at that. You had to do something original, didn't you? 
I did. I did. I needed him out of this fight. All right. Well, he's definitely out of the fight. Um, <laughs> and I also double checked. Mm -hmm. Silence will prevent you from providing verbal components for spells, which Dimension Door does require. However, the general rules for magic items state that no components must be provided unless specified. Therefore, it's not a problem since it does not mention that in the cape. So it would work per the I mean, you've already made it work. I don't know why yeah. I have to go over it. Thanks. Yeah, just double checking myself. <laughs> um, oh. So, Suzanne, do you move at all? Um, I'm going to move behind that statue to my left. Alrighty. My camera. It is now Yosan's turn. What is he going to do here? He's going to try to do the psychic lance again, but this time at the only person that he can see that's up is Gavri. I need an intelligence saving throw. Ixpit is right on his butt. Oh, wait, you are right. Okay. Ixpit, is, Ixpit is right here. Hold on. He is. You are right. I I keep on forgetting about Ixpit. Um. He is going to attack Ixpit. Um, with a poison spray. Technology sucks. <laughs> a constitution saving throw. Constitution fourteen. That's a fail. However, does Ixpit have poison immunity? Okay. So you see, Yosan. He starts to look at Gavri to cast a spell, then he has this imp that's flying in his head, towards his head. As a quick reaction, he just moves his hand up, and you see a spray of poison go out, and next bit just go, TASTY! As he goes to attack. Imps are immune to poison. Alkson. That is a 13. Miyagi, you are up. Okay. If my foundry was fucking load. The right. we did in the channel for redeem. Oh, what? See, I don't see any of that right now. What was the uh, channel point redeem? Divine Twitch Vention. Oh, <laughs> Divine Twitch Vention? Well, you do have your inspiration that you could use to get yourself up. I'll use it if I fail one. Okay. Because it's not a guaranteed net 20, so. Uh, this tabaxi, by the way, is a shark flopping on the ground next to you. So what you doing, Miyagi? Um, I'm going to... I don't honestly know how many spell slots I have left. Because I can't really see Foundry right now, because my internet's crapping out. Spell slots, you have no first level, you have one second level. That, and you have two third levels. Okay, I'm gonna pump... Oh, shit. Uh, let me do... Oh, I have to do my 20 roll for... How How's everyone looking besides the tabaxi? Uh, Yosan is not there. Okay. He disappeared. Mia disappeared out of a dimension door. And then there's the tabaxi. Do I still have the egg? You still have the egg. All right. Um, I'd like to. Is there anyone down or like on the ground? Alexon is down and bleeding out. Okay. Um. Oh, shit. I can't really do any healing. I don't have any health potions or shit. Okay. 
Can I misdo step using a higher level spell slot, a level third spell slot? Absolutely. And then do a medicine or whatever sort of check I need to try and stabilize her? Sure. I don't even think you... Oh, yeah. <laughs> Something. It's I mean, you could not. You don't have to use your misty step to get over there. I mean, no, it's oh. like the shark's still gonna do a chomp. Yes, yeah, the shark. Yeah. yeah, the shark could do a chomp. That's what I realized. Yeah, that's why. That's okay. why. I... All right, roll a medicine check. All right, I need to do something. I still have the egg. That's what's important to me. One's better than none. Uh. You think you could do it for me? Because my shit's not loading at sure. all. I'm not very wise, so I don't expect good results. Medicine. Uh, 17. You stabilize. Uh, you are no longer bleeding out, Elkson. Yay. Uh, it is Saradoc's turn, and he does not get another save from Polymorph, I believe. He's just stuck there. <laughs> Gavry, it is your turn. Uh, looking about as dead as usual and like frustrated that Mia has escaped, but hey, it worked. We got one off the field. Um, I'm gonna half limp over to Elkson, crouch, take out one of my good berries, and give that to Elkson. Elkson, you are back up with one hit point. Uh, and just like, as I'm like, I can't, I can't do anything else, um, to help her stand, so I'll just be like, if you can stand. You can't say anything, you're in the silence. Oh, well, I, <laughs> you can cancel it. Though I'm in the silence, so I'll, you know. And now you're out of the silence because you have a movement rate of, uh, cheetah. Of, yeah, of 8,000, <laughs> um, in a tiny room like this. Yes. Uh. Man, she really did go down the most unfortunate spot. She won't be able to hear me either. No. <laughs> but I do need it there. Still need it there. Uh, so just like kind of clap her on the shoulder, make sure like she's good. All right. He's he's saying things, but nobody can hear. <laughs> Does that complete your turn? Um, I'm actually. Gonna go back. Wow. Oh god. <laughs> Too many buttons at once. I think I'm uh, gonna vibe here. Okay, what's your passive perception? 17. 17, you definitely hear a female's voice chanting beyond that door. I'm just outside. I. How's the Zen looking? Zen is looking pretty bad. Uh, then I'm going to jerk my thumb over my shoulder and be like, there's more. There's. Everything's terrible, and I'm gonna hop right there. Okay. That completes your turn. You no longer hear the chanting. Okay. Spectre is gone. I remove that combatant. So Zen, you are up. Do you drop <laughs> right. concentration? No, not at all. <laughs> are you sure? Yeah, I'm, I'm positive. <laughs> uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bonus action use another blade song. Okay. Let me just make sure, because I think that's the last one I have. Oh, no, I have, two. I have one more after that. Okay. Um, and then what I'm going to do is move right over to... I'm going to move up so that I'm in front of the... I'm parallel to that door that Gavry is 
standing next to. Okay. I'm going to move the oh. 10 feet to so I'm just right outside the silence. Okay. And I'm going to cast a third level Thunderbolt at that door. Third level Thunderbolt at that door. Okay, uh, Alex and I'll let you move. Because <laughs> we're both moving there. <laughs> so, a Thunderbolt. Yep. So the door has to make a saving throw. The door is going to fail. It's a door. All right, it's going to take 8d6, which okay. I do not trust D&D Beyond anymore, so I'm going to roll it manually. One okay. Sec. 8d6, I do need you to roll, because it might the door might survive. All right, I'm doing it. <coughs> Thank you for your patience, folks. While I get this, and how long does polymorph last? One hour. One hour, or until uh, he suffocates and loses all his yep. hit points. Yep. So whichever, whichever comes first. Eh, I'm gonna give that like ten rounds. Uh, 27 points of lightning damage. The door blows apart. And what you can see, you see Mia at the edge of your vision as she's running away. Did she take any damage from that? Because that's lightning bolt would still go up to 100 feet. 100 feet. Um, yeah, she would be in line of that. What's the saving throw? Uh, Dex 17. Dex is not her strong suit. But... That is a very nice roll. She did pass. What was the damage? The damage is going to be 27. So halved. halved. Holy shit. So 26. That's minus 13. You see she gets knocked back and she falls to her knee, but she climbs up and you can see that she's limping, trying to get away with a broken leg. That's how fucked up she is. I'm going to use the rest of my movement, uh, so that should be... How much did I move? That was a uh, 5, 10, 15. Um, and I have 35, so that's 20 more feet towards her. Okay, 20 more. And that will be my turn. It is now Yosan's turn. He has reappeared. He looks around. Well, this is not... This is not good. Fine. You all win. At least I have a few eggs for myself. As... Shit. He might be fucked here. Heh. He starts running. Ooh. Yes, please. Come this way. Is that from Expedition? Yes, he gets an attack of opportunity against Ixbit. We'll try to sting him. AC 15, that does not hit him. Comes up to Gavry and moves. You get uh, an attack of opportunity. I do, I do. I'm... Yeah. 23 definitely hits. I am going to try and stunning strike. It's my last key point, y'all. <laughs> 19 points of damage, alright? I've all right. used all of my key points. <laughs> it, this is this has been a very, very stressful fight. And I can't believe I did not have Yosan memorize a teleport or even a dimension door. <laughs> but hey. Look, sometimes you, you have a, you have one of those days. Well, it's, it, it's just because. Constitution saving throw is... A, I rolled an 11, he has a plus 8. Oh. Plus 8? What's this boy packing? Well, he started off as an artifice, uh, artificer, so he oh, has... That's a trick question. He's about to be packing a warhammer to the back <laughs> of his head. Please continue. But he has proficiency <laughs> in con saving throws, so that's oh, why. Oh, that's okay. His legs don't to my hammer. Nope, but he is injured. Um, let's see, it's 5, 10, 15, run 20, <laughs> 25... Because he only has a movement speed of 25. Elkson, you are up. 
shouts and just is crying, like hysterically crying as she's getting up. She is beyond done with this. That is the fourth time. Do you hear a whisper in your head? Let me help you, Oxen. We need to get him now. He has the eggs. Me. And she's gonna use her movement to go after him. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty-five, thirty. I can get to there. I would say you're outside of the silence there. Because most of that square is outside. You okay. see him. Um, I am going to bonus action hex. Oh, I did not have a lot of spell slots left. Um, and then... Uh, let's do, he's a spellcaster, so dissonant whispers wouldn't be a good idea. Let's do Eldritch Blast, why not? Alright. I am out of spells. 24. 24 hits, and I am out of spell slots to counter. That's a d10 plus the hex damage. Is it only one beam? Or do you get a second beam now? Do I? It's Eldritch Blast uh, you're doing? Yes. yes. Oh, I yeah, do you have got two. Okay. So you have to roll Yay. a hit on both of them. Okay. Second beam is... Uh, 15 plus 7 is 22. 22 damage? No, 22 to hit. Okay, that. 22 to hit. Okay, that's good. Sorry. Well, no, that because that's an important point of clarification there. Um. Okay. So. It's two D ten and two D six. Yep. That is seven, nine, fourteen, uh, sixteen, sixteen damage. How do you want to do this? She is, like I said, she is crying hysterically as she just goes over and just fucking screams no at him. I, I, I don't want to, like, hurt anybody's ears with the headphones, but she screams no as she casts this eldritch blast just at him all like desperation <laughs> all like, is on her face like she's you reach out and instinctively you reach your staff out as the focus point of your spell and you feel a soft hand just just correct your hand for a moment and you feel the warmth through your hand and you hear a whisper in your head. He dies at your hand by your power. As you see these two Eldritch Blasts comes out, one smacks him right in his head and he looks back at you and he looks confused. And he looks down and there's nothing left of his chest as the second one knocks off half of his face and you see an eye falls to the ground, but tinks as if it was not flesh. As he's dead. Miyagi, it is your turn. You're muted. Oh dear. Okay, so can you hear me now? Yep. All right, so Miyagi seeing Sazen just sort of bolt one way. He's going to go after Sazen. That's his buddy. Um, 
I'm going to use my feline agility to mm-hmm. move up to 60 feet in that direction, wherever Sazen went. Let's uh, see, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55. You can get right there. Stream. <laughs> can't technically see. Okay. <laughs> and I'm you see do... Mia attempting to leave. How does she look? Like she's limping? She said? looks like her leg is busted. She's leaning on her great sword. All right. Uh, third level magic missile. At this point, she will use Tomb of Levi- Leviasis. She's entombed in ice. Because your damage would have been lethal. Okay. Let's see how long that lasts. I think it's just till the end of their turn. Tomb of... And then then Miyagi's gonna yell out, I need some help over here! Just yell back. Let's see. Um... Okay, you see them get entombed in ice, and as your magic missiles hit, the ice fades away. It's gone. Um, the shark flops around a little bit, tries to scoot over to Suzanne to try to bite, but doesn't have the movement. Gavry, your turn. Gavry's like, winced both for the the obvious trauma and agony that Alexin is going through and also like just like half in a, a daze covered both in his blood and his friend's blood and who knows whose blood is just like it's always so loud and just he's going uh, you can easily just, get there oh easily what's the lighting like in this room um, it is actually in the hallway, it is dim light. In the cavern, it is bright light. Bonus action shadow step for that tasty advantage boot. I'm gonna like <laughs> step in front of her to cut her off. Okay. And like as he steps down, like again with like the flickers of shadow, is gonna take like his big old advantage boot. Boop, boop. Okay, uh, miss and hit. Roll your damage. Yeah. How do you want to do this? I think it's literally just as simple as this dead-eyed deer, like, went to finish the job, like, stepped through the shadow, and as he's falling, like, teleports a little bit above her to get that momentum, and just brings it down and just like where there once was a, maybe a head there's not a whole lot anymore as you come down with your warhammer you hear the sickening crunch of bone and scraping against the metal of the armor as the head is completely gone scrunched into the body Combat is effectively ended. How about we take a quick break? No, my Landa. <laughs> Let's come back and see what happens and see what they do with this shark. Be back soon, guys.
And we are back. Our players having to face a extremely difficult battle. And one of our players being frozen right now in Discord. So you have a land shark flopping on the ground, attempting to gasp for breath. What are you all doing about that? I'm gonna walk up, keeping a good, a good healthy ten feet between me and the shark, mm -hmm. and I'm gonna kind of kneel down and be like, "That's how you assassinate," and I'm just gonna let it suffocate to death. <laughs> As it suffocates to death. It reverts back to. There we go. It reverts yeah. back to the tabaxi. <sighs> well, I'm looks, gonna... <laughs> looks like I'm not getting paid for this job. So he's alive? Yes, he would come back alive. Oh, I miscalculated that. So how about we just call this a draw? Just leave. Elkson will mumble as she walks over to Yosan's body to see whatever he has on him. Fair enough. And he starts to leave. Yeah, I, as he gets up, I'm going to hold out my sword to him, like to his throat. And I'm going to say, believe the gold. He drops a point, uh, Coin pouch on the floor. Fair enough. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, we would have definitely searched um, his body for sure. Okay, first on Yosan. You find that eye that tank to the ground, you look at it, and it looks like there's galaxies inside of it. You kind of put it in her pouch quietly. You find a bag that seems pretty light, but you put your hand in it and it keeps on going down and down and down. And she'll just toss it over her shoulder. And you find a spell book. Additionally, he he's has. Still, he has. He's still crying at this point. <laughs> right, I'm gonna leave the the looting to Miyagi, who seems to like know what he's looking for, and just go <laughs> stumble over to to Alexon. Uh, that's pretty much it for Yosan. Yosan did not have a whole lot on him. Yeah. Mia. You see, she's wearing this armor that looks like it's form from a deformed demon skull. You see, she's wearing a red cloak that smells slightly of brimstone. She is... Oh, do you cast Detect Magic? I do. I do. You see, she's wearing a very nice amulet. And her greatsword glows with power. And Do. she has another bag of holding. Okay. So, first and foremost, what sort of idea do I get from the amulet? Like, the school of magic. Uh, I would say this would be transmutation. Okay. Um... As for bag of holding, Miyagi's gonna like pull it off of her and away from her a little bit. Mm -hmm. Think of a dragon egg. It's... This one, mm -hmm. this one is silver in color. Has silver veins running through it. Okay. Out of character, I dare you to turn that thing inside out and see what flies. But, yeah. 
Yeah. I'm going to stick my hand in there again. Is there another dragon egg? This one is blue in color. Okay. Just rinse and repeat so I know that there's no more dragon eggs. You get a total of 25 dragon eggs. So I'm assuming, I'm assuming the rest of the party, they're, they're having their conversations just like, ooh, another one. Ooh, another However, one. Another one. the last three are the most interesting. These eggs, one looks to be made of amethyst, one of topaz, and... Let me pull up this other one. Sorry, I should have this ready to go, but I am using my screens. Let's see, we have an emerald, a sapphire, topaz, and amethyst, so the last four. Oh. I'm going to scoot those, put all the dragon eggs into my bag of holding after they're all sorted out. And then I'm going to take the bag, have it on the ground, flip it over, and just sort of pick it up. Okay. You see uh, a bunch of gems fall out. Some platinum pieces. Some gold pieces. A ring. You better be writing this down. Oh, shit. I probably should. <laughs> yeah. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Inventory. Here, let me grab a notepad. Grab a notepad. I'll be... So Zen, while they're all doing this, I would have just... I didn't think there was this much. I was just expecting magic trinkets. Right, I'm waiting for the, the loot to be distributed before continuing with the RP, because, like, simultaneous. Like, there wouldn't have been waiting around right. yeah. before Gabri does what he's... And, and Suzanne, what were you saying? Uh, while they're doing all of that, I just grab the coin pouch that the tabaxi left, and I just walk out of the room. Okay. Um, so, there's a ring, gems, platinum, um... A cloak, a set of boots, a wand, and many scrolls and books. Just to make sure I've got this right. Amulet, rings, platinum, gems, boots, cloak, scrolls and books, and then a wand. Correct. All right. Okay. You also have her armor and the great sword. All right, I'm gonna write that down too. So, Sazen, do you, for you to leave where you were, you would be passing um, Elkson, Gavry, and Miyagi. Do you pass them? Yes. But I don't we'll say a word to of... them. Mm -hmm. So we'll just kind of stand up from looting Gosa and just like, th th there's barely any effort in her movements. She's still got tears streaming down her face. Like she, she does not look okay in any aspect. Yeah, Gabri, like, again, half limps, as per usual, like, over is like, hey, are you alright? Oh. Absolutely not. We'll sit down somewhere. I mean, not, not in the quiet, and, like, the silence would have dropped by now. <laughs> I'm gonna cast a second level healing word on Gabri. Oh, you don't... that's not gonna... Feels a bit better, thank you. So like, I'm has trying to the... think where, where he got hit. He got slashed, right? 
Yes, so Zen has made it past Mia's body now. Uh, so, so Zen, wait up, where are you going? I give Miyagi the iciest look that I've ever given anybody in my life, and then I just keep going. Hold up, wait it, wait, there's coin. We still have to do his trial. That will you at least, fun. will you at least take something? You're going to leave, will you at least take something? Please? Is that a pit in that shadow? Yes, it is. <laughs> oh, crap. And <laughs> Meowgi's just going to toss her a bag of holding. The the spare bag of holding. I don't know I mean, if you're instinctive. leaving. Instinctively, I catch it because it's just an object that's flying towards me. Mm -hmm. um, but I don't turn back. But I don't leave because apparently there's a big old hole there. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I are are you out of earshot? Or are you just I am to where that hole is. <laughs> I, I I kind of meant that I was gonna leave the room in the other direction, but here we are in this awkward moment where I can't escape. <laughs> right, I also <laughs> thought she was gonna <laughs> eat the other way, yeah, but go Well like you that guys haven't went that way yet. You guys haven't went that That's way yet. I so. thought she was going. <laughs> Oh, we didn't go from this. We didn't come from the south side. We came from the. You came west. from this area. You guys jumped over this chasm. Oh. I don't remember jumping over a chasm. You did. That's weird. It was expedited. Remember. Mm -hmm. Oh. Okay. That. That's probably why. Um. I'm gonna jump over the chasm. Okay. Make an because acrobatics check. Because this is how we came the first time. I'm going to fall into the chasm. <laughs> I rolled what a way. <laughs> you rolled a one? Oh no, three plus uh, eight. Eleven. eleven. Um, you jump, and as you jump, you find that you took a step too far, and the rocks gave way. So you do a quick acrobatics turn to grab onto the side of the wall. But you're still on the same side. But you don't fall. Mm. And you look around. Nobody saw it. Because <laughs> Miyagi's out of sight right now. Okay. So I didn't lose the cool. Alright, so I'm going to stay there and take a moment to collect myself while everybody else RPs. <laughs> <laughs> you get Miyagi's just going to be collecting the, drag the eggs in the bag. You start to hear. Oh my gosh, we don't even get a moment? <laughs> my guy! You, you will. Never gonna get to RP. You guys never. will. Trust. Just. Trust me. As these small brazers start to light up again inside the room with a silver flame. And that's it. So, Miyagi will probably. Oh, I don't know what he's gonna do. Probably move back towards the center of the room. Um, I can't really hop on boundary right now, or else I'd move. Okay. I feel like Passing the others, guys. So I think Suzanne's gone. I think I think she had that bad of a hair day. She decided to leave. However, I did get some cool things. Um, but I've got these eggs. Where would you like them? And I'm gonna be looking at the center, like Gollum statue. <laughs> See his he raises his hand, motioning towards the altar. So I can deduce to stick the dragon eggs on the altar. Uh what is that? <laughs> That's the dragon golem. Oh. Okay. Fun. Alright. Um, but I was right, right? Like, I could stick the... That's up to your interpretation. 
Um, I'm going to set my bag on the ground. Just carefully set them. Like on the altar. Will, will it fit all 25 eggs? I figured yes, eggs will. would be like. It, the, it okay. Will. Yes, I will. Oh dear. What the elf said is true. So, uh, God's. Aren't you here? have given us back many eggs. You can ask any question you wish. Oh shit. And to Zen, this loud booming voice, you can hear this voice speaking. Okay. Gavry and Elkson, what are you doing at this point in time? Elkson is has gone in to just next to the door, slumped against the wall, plopped down, and is just curled up in a ball, quietly crying. What Gavry's been trying to do is like go sit, get a little deer legs folded up on her. Like he also just kind of the leggies give out. They're not super great, <laughs> and he's like trembling too. But he leads over and like again, just real quiet. In I I can't replicate this because I have an issue with tone. But um, he's going to be trying to be like, "You're all right. You've got." Like, we made it. You actually did it. Like, he's gone. And, we're, like, we're here for you. And, like, gives her a hug. And even though he is, like, cold, it's genuine. Like... I mean, she she's an ice dragon. She's used right, to cold. Right, so I know I mean, she no, is. We're probably I the same temperature. Is, right? <laughs> <laughs> right, right, right. But and she, just, like, she'll definitely... Yeah, no, sir, you go ahead. <laughs> She'll just, you know, hold him back, like, hug him back, trying not to be too tight, seeing how fragile he is. Right, looking. like, despite him getting slashed up and whatever other hits he took, it's always his side that he favors. <laughs> like, he does, like, tuck that in, and it's like, obviously still in pain, we all did just, like, get the shit kicked out of us, and I don't, because Elkson went down, and a few of us did. I don't think anybody has a clear recollection that Gavri is always the last one kind of acting as guardian in these situations. Uh, and he's just like, gonna be, you know, just quietly reassuring her, be like, I I don't have the words. Gavri did. I had a cool thing a moment yeah. ago, and my brain just went, yeet! Gotta far write away. it down. Gotta she write it down. Like, she would just be like, why doesn't it feel any better? He's gone, but it doesn't feel any better. I feel worse. Sometimes it will for maybe forever, but the harm that he would have done. That was horrifying. It was. You're one of the bravest people I know for taking him on like you did. Bit foolish, meant... but you came through. I meant the fact that I just obliterated this half of his head is terrifying. I have this new power because of being angry and all of this confuses me and upsets me. And she just kind of stops like she, she doesn't know what else to say. Just... Let it out, whatever you're feeling. If you want to talk about this, we can. Because it's... <laughs> Trust me, um, from someone who's 
let a grudge consume them up. Best not to. I just... I don't... There's no one to hold a grudge against now. But I'm still... Angry! I might know why that is. And she'll kind of like look up terrified at the strange voice because she has not been paying attention to the room at all. And you see this golem stands up to its full height, 20 feet tall easily. It's massive iron wings spread out. If the rest of your party would like to join, I will tell you. You have so little room to speak. You stood there and let this happen, you piece of... And again, there's a a colorful fey expression that maybe Miyagi catches. (laughs) He doesn't seem to acknowledge. I have a quick question, if you don't mind me asking. Um... First and foremost, how do we purify the silver worm from the Shadowfell? Second off, um, could I face this trial and possibly be redeemed? Or will I survive it? That is yet to be seen. You all want answers? Yes. That's why we're here. He looks over at the door as if he is waiting for someone else to join. Do I feel any kind of like compulsion to come or I Well if he if I notice Oh no, continue. I would say that you would feel a little tugging. You would feel just that inquisitive nature of yours being a mage this is some secrets of arcana i mean this is a huge fucking golem that's talking um it's at least interesting all right so i will make my way back to the room but i will put a noticeable amount of space between me meowgi and elkson okay so you go to the opposite side of the room Oh, it's good to see you. I'm so glad. I'm glad you're back. We're just about to get a law lesson. The Skolem raises his hands and all of the fire dies instantly. This entire room is utterly black. So Gavry disappears. (laughs) I see nothing has changed. (laughs) Um, Then up in the air you see stars and planets as it looks like galaxies you're moving through them until it centers on what looks like your world when this world was young and the gods came upon it it was already infested by what you call the elder evils And it zooms into the world and you see portions of the world were just like a living slug would just um, excrete more slugs. You would see uh, a mountain that is made up of worms. You would see just unspeakable Lovecraftian horrors. It was here where the dragons first faced off against the Elder Evils and forced them off of Jesredin. Ages passed, and then the smaller races came into power as he looks over all of you. And you start to see civilizations being um, brought up, torn down, destroyed, brought up again. It was through these small races that the Elder Evils attempted to get a foothold back. And they almost did. It was decided then 
that Jesredin needed to be hidden. So the gods pushed your world away outside of their realm, outside of their power, hidden from sight from the elder evils. Those deities who were the oldest, Bahamut and Tiamat, and the newest, the Raven Queen, they stayed in the memories of people. The rest are folktales made up it is because of certain people in this world who are the reincarnations of the fallen avatars of the deities that divine magic still exists in this world It is those people who have a divine spark. And don't even know it. People like you. As he looks over to Elkson, Sazen, Gavri. And then falls on Miyagi. You do not have a divine spark. But you have... The bloodline of an elder evil. I... I kind of put two and two together when I was called Worm Son. I don't really care for that. Um. But you three carry your own spark. I don't believe that for a goddamn second. Can we get to his trial, please? If you wish, stand around him. Uh, Alexon stays just sitting, just looking over to Miyagi in pain. Already crying. Just. She does not have much hope at this point. Do they have to? It's through their spark that you'll be judged. That's some premium bullshit. Elkson will slowly stand up and go over to Miyagi. She's going to give him a really tight hug. Miyagi returns it. Hey, I, kn I know you're crying right now, but I'll be fine. Besides, Elder Evils, it's... I'll be okay. This is that right, Sazen. Sazen sees Elkson and Miyagi hugging and could not look more disgusted. And you could tell that she is biting her lip to prevent from going off on these two right now. She will begrudgingly go over to the opposite side of wherever they're standing. She's not going to abandon Miyagi, but this is as close as she's going to get. I think I can pick up a hint. Suzanne. Whatever happens. You were a great teacher. And if I perish, literally burned, just know that 
You were the best teacher I could ever have. And there's tons more money in it for you. And I'm going to throw, going to pull out the platinum and throw it at her. Here's for wasting your time. I don't know how much platinum it is. But... Uh, Luxon will let go of the hug and just kind of squeeze his hand. And he's standing next to him. Gavri, do you go up? Gavri has to, like, as usual, once he's down, takes effort to get back to his feet, like, grabs onto the leg of the statue, uses his hammer to, like, prop himself up. Like, why are we the ones to judge? You will not be doing the judging. You literally said there's some spark inside us that's gonna do this. Your spark will fuel the ritual. What does that mean? It means... To reach Bahamut, we need more power. How are you think I'd be using it on this? Like oh, for the love of the go- And then I catch myself and about to say gods. <laughs> just, <laughs> just, just come on, Gavri. Let's get this over with. <laughs> Looking just so despondent, just <laughs> hobbles on over. As Gavri joins you, all of the pillars of flame shoot up, and all of you, except for Miyagi, start to glow a soft blue light. And then, Miyagi, you see your three friends start to hover and levitate and circle around you. I think I read a book like this. To Zen. You see magic as if you have never seen it before. You see... What you used to do is akin to a toddler playing with blocks. And now you are the architect. You can see the magical equations. You can alter them to your will. You can see the art in its purest form. You remember. Magic is you. You are magic. Elkson. You feel something a little bit different. At first, you feel the warm breeze. A summer breeze. You feel the grass beneath your feet. You reach down and you see a flower and at your touch, the flower starts to grow. But then the flower grows bigger and spikes appear on the stem. And you know it's to protect the flower. You feel the adrenaline of the hunt, the natural cycle of all things. And you remember nature. In all its bestial forms. You see cities as. Blasphemy. And you remember. You are nature. Gavri. To say that you feel. Your feelings are somewhat diluted. 
or diluted is an understatement because you're missing something. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> you, it's as if you're seeing the memories th underwater. Like they're there, but they're muffled and they're out of reach. You can see fawns prancing, some dancing, playing musical instruments. You see the lighter part of the Feywild, the summer courts, but again, it's distant. And you don't I quite- think, like, sorry, sorry, like quietly in the midst of this, you can like, he doesn't want this. And I think he even like quietly says as well, like, I don't want to see this. And again, you see all this through like a lens. It's too far away. And all of you are lost in this moment. And Miyagi, you hear the loudest dragon roar you have ever seen. As this iron golem, its head arcs back. And as it a roar, you see a spectral image of a dragon fly out of it, fly around and land. You're no longer in this confines. You are in space. You are, there are, there is no ceiling. There are no walls. And this dragon is immense. You do not even equal one scale on him. And he is pure platinum. Is it safe to say I'm standing? You safe to say like, you or, fell to your knees? Yeah, I was gonna. I was gonna say like, yeah, I would fall to my knees. Okay, I'm going to like. Why stop. have you called us back? Bowing, hands outstretched. I may have the blood of evil, but I am not a product of my family. And I seek redemption. I seek justice. Most importantly, I seek forgiveness. Is granting your forgiveness worth the cost? We may have returned now, but that means they have as well. I hope they you're have. worth it. As he takes a deep breath and breathes. What is your thought as the flames are approaching you? This is my penance. And I will survive to do better. Okay. I think that's a good place to pause for the night. Oh my god. Oh my god. Well, guys, you're a pile of ash. Y'all come back. I'm a pile of ash. Oh god. I I'm fucking petrified. I'm fucking scared. I'm fucking I think, scared. I think that's a good place to pause. So we're going to end our session how we end all of our sessions with bitches, cries, complaints, comments, questions answered. Go with Gavry. Uh, hello. A lot of questions. Too many to <laughs> cover tonight. Oh, I, that's why I ended early. So we would have enough time. Right. You definitely gotta chill on cramming the plot into the RP moments. For real. <laughs> that is my gripe. Okay. A 
anything else? Nothing I can get my thoughts on right now. Alrighty. So then. So, as an RP, I get all of the decisions that happen tonight. As a gamer, I am so utterly frustrated with the decisions my teammates made. <laughs> I am so utterly frustrated that I did not get the kill on Mia. <laughs> um, and, uh, yeah, um, definitely an intense combat. I, I did have fun, despite what my facial expressions might suggest. I definitely did enjoy myself. Uh, fully prepared for Zen to die, but luckily that did not happen. Um, and yeah, um, Sazen is big mad, so see how that, <laughs> so that plays out. <laughs> and Elkson. Oh boy, from big mad to big sad. Um, <laughs> Elkson, this, this was a fun session. Uh, this was a lot for Elkson. This could potentially be a lot more. Um... <laughs> The, the the cliffhanger is evil. As a fellow DM, I respect it, but it's evil. <laughs> um, and yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to next session. I'm thoroughly hooked. Uh, I was happy to have that little RP moment with Gavri, and I'm sure there's more to come. Oh, absolutely. Um, as well as the little, like, Alexa needed to get that hug in before trial <laughs> with Miyagi and speaking of Miyagi Brian <laughs> what's that first off first off first off the gods are a lie great I love that I love that right absolutely love that second off second off great session overall Absolutely enjoyed every part of it. Um, honestly, I'm fucking scared of what's going to happen. <laughs> but I'm looking forward to it. And I, I'm glad that even if Sazen, for example, is mad, I'm glad that Miyagi was able to get his feelings out. Big mad. And big mad. For so big mad for a small woman, and that's his truth. He does think she is the best mentor he's ever had. Also, the only mentor he's ever had. So, but he knows how much she loves coin. So he he was kind of like, here you go. I think that might have been more insulting than anything, actually. See, uh well. Honestly, his speech got to me. Like, if we oh. had, had like, maybe another like minute or two, like Suzanne was about to break, <laughs> but luckily the dragon <laughs> took over <laughs> to keep my composure. And let me just say, Elkson and Miyagi, they needed that hug because, plain and simple, they both have demons, literal demons they're fighting, mm -hmm. and trust me. Miyagi knows Hellish Rebuke. He has that spell. He hasn't brought it up. And I'm glad to see, and I'm glad to RP, that his confidence is merely just talk. And I like the opportunity. I like the opportunity to be given that, you know? So, overall, great session. Also, that combat was stressful as fuck. Let me just say that. It was stressful as fuck. I was... I you, was like, I, I will say you guys did some things that made it impossible for some of my other plans to work through. Um, and I did, you know, I, I wasted a couple reactions because I was like, well, he wouldn't know this. And like, Yosan doesn't know shit about demons, but he knows a lot about dragons. He's going to do poison spray on the imp. But I think imps are immune to poison. Yes, they are. So. Alrighty. It's an expert came in clutch. Yes, he did. So we will see you all later. Thanks for joining, everyone. Uh, let's find somebody to raid. And.
Of course, I should be doing this while I'm asking you, letting you guys do your spiels, but of course I'm bad at this. Now you'll think of that next time. Yes, I always say that. <laughs> and I never think of it. Put a sticky never, note on your never. screen. I have so many sticky notes on my screen right now. Let's see, we'll do... Stabber Studios. They are and there we go. We are done. Evil cliffhanger. Oh, I know. Yeah. <laughs> but I, I respect the hell out of it, though. I had to do yeah. a cliffhanger right there. You can't. You can't just sit that there. Was, that was perfect. That was perfect. <laughs> perfect time. Perfect opportunity. Alrighty. So we're not gonna do this, and we are going to need this map next time if you all can see it now, now. I'm in the mood for a fucking circus <laughs> well it's also um, a place where it is basically all based on your RP it's basically a vacation We get a training montage. If you survive. Uh, y'all get. Hey, listen. Whatever happens, y'all will get a training montage. <laughs> I don't I, know about that. If y'all get I'm tired, just, things will happen. So, I do have a question, Brian. Are all the gods back or just Raven Queen, Tiamat, and Bahamut? The essence. <laughs> Basically, the world has been put on spotlight now. Okay. So, those people with the divine spark, they can attempt to gain more power, and they could ascend to godhood, or they could give it up and become mortal. You just so killed. You just killed gods. You just killed the reincarnation of Tiamat, though. <laughs> That's yeah. what Mia was. Yeah, I know. Josh knows. Josh knows. But that the Divine Spark is not get dead. The Divine Spark will find somebody else and might just form up. I haven't really thought too much into that. On the mechanics of what will happen. Just eternal struggle of fighting the wicked gods. Oh, but that would be so badass, though. That's, like, literally, like, that is a mythic-level adventure right there. Like, literally, we would become champions of of the gods. That'd be so cool. Also, have you oh, had... Sorry. Have you had... Me not having a d Divine Spark planned from Session 1? Yes. Well, the the real plan, the real thing, what happened was I made your character the spawn of Kairos and all that. Mm -hmm. And then I'm like, well, I can't just make this really cool thing for you and not have something for everybody else. So I mm -hmm. played into, I was like, okay, well, I did say that nobody's seen dragons. Okay, why has nobody seen dragons? It's like, well, the dragons could be kind of like the dragons from Dragonlance and really tied into the gods. Okay. Ah, uh, well, let's just say the gods push the world away. Okay, so what happened to them? Now, being the fallen avatar, the reincarnation of the fallen avatar, doesn't mean that you are actually that god. The avatar is an extension of the god. Okay. So, I don't think Ren was too happy, so, because they just left. <laughs> well, they put a message in saying goodnight, but yeah. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah. I get Ren was kind of frustrated. 
I, I mean, I get it, but I'm also on a time thing where I'm trying to get to the cliffhanger before we can leave. And you guys will, you know, you will have time to RP. I will definitely give you guys time to RP, and the next couple sessions is RP. Just sometimes I do have to push it along a little bit because I need to end at a certain time. That was definitely an intense session all throughout. Like, oh my god. It, it was in a very intense battle. Um, it was very... Like, I, I I played the characters how they would be played. He They had Armor Agathus up. Um, you know, I gave them one round because they kind of figured it would come to blows because they heard you outside the door. So they had one round to cast a spell. So they did blink. For one, that was the spell blink. I'm sure you got that. Yeah. And then he did um, armor of Agathus. And the other one didn't have a spell. He was going to do darkness, but after seeing Gavry doing it, it really wouldn't have hurt, done anything. Um. And the specter was really the specter was wasn't really there to hit. It was there to give Mia um advantage so they could try to crit farm for smites but I really only got a chance to do one smite <laughs> quite honestly so Zen did a crap ton of damage to Mia it's just it was done over multiple rounds in little doses but you did the most damage to Mia but I did not uh, get the kill <laughs> yeah sorry Zen I, I tried to play into my strengths and that's charming people but it never worked. Well, and you see, again, charming is, is something like before combat or, um, yeah. like it's in hard the to do in a fight, yeah. exactly. Well, really, what I was gonna, oh yeah, that is true. But either which way, it still worked out. Also, GG Sazin, that polymorph was clutch. How much platinum did I give Sazin? wasn't meant as an insult it's just she always complains <laughs> that that she never has enough money then didn't take it as an insult at all like like i said Suzen, Suzen's not as mad at Meowgi as she is at elkson but it ties into the anger so um yeah i don't want to reveal why because that's rp moments coming up um yeah and yeah you guys have nothing but traveling in the future because there's no big bad hunting you right now. I mean, there is some people hunting Suzanne, but I'm thinking that they got kind of thrown with all this. Yeah. Especially so, when I mean, you went it? to the Fey, Feywild already, so they couldn't scry you, so. Yeah. And I've been gone for six weeks. Exactly. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Alright guys, I'm going to head out to go spend a little bit of time with my husband before he goes to sleep, so I will catch you all next week. Yep, enjoy. See ya. Night. Oh. That yeah, was traumatizing. Oh, absolutely. That's the point. I had I wanted to close out Elkson's story with Yosan there, and close out Meowgi's hunting, sort of. It, it's closed out, but it's going to affect her for a long ass time because she is not satisfied. And that terrifies her. I well, you tell you, Miyagi's next move, just saying, is going to be to try and purify the silver worm. However, he can do it. If that, if Bahamut can give him guidance <sighs> or. I don't know if that's even possible. If that's possible, well, here's here's his thinking. Here's his thinking because I'm I'm playing him. Dragons, very powerful creatures. Evil deities show up. Purifying a dragon. If that's possible, even just the one percent, he's gonna want to try it because even especially if he survives, especially mm -hmm. because at that point he's indebted. <laughs> 